In this southeast Washington neighborhood, a part of town known more for low-income housing than new technology, two-story townhomes are sporting solar panels. The innovation is making residents smile when it comes to paying monthly utility bills. Some are very excited. I'm very excited. My electric bill is really dropped. The last few months has been like $40 a month. $200 a month. The mayor's office makes these solar panels available to residents whose income does not exceed $50,500 per year for a family of three or $60,000 for a family of four. We'll do about 135 this year. Next year the goal is 200. We've been able to hit our goals every year for the last four years. Um, in the years after that, uh, the funding looks secure. I see no reason why we shouldn't be able to do more like 250 homes. While the effort is just beginning, solar equipment installer Atta Kaidash says Washington will install as many as 1,200 panels this year. That's not a high number compared to states like California. But officials here believe with the demand going up, the number of panels could double by next year. Most of the time, most of our clients hear us through word of mouth, through other jobs we've done in the past or um, uh, through existing clients. And what they do is they reach out to us and we do the income qualification and we come out and do a site visit, make sure that they qualify. And then if they qualify, we just put them on our construction schedule and we get the job started. The program is funded by payments made by factories and oil refineries for their carbon dioxide emissions. Government officials anticipate saving millions of dollars as the solar panels become more popular. They believe energy subsidies to poor families will be cut, electric bills will go down, new jobs will be created, and innovation will be encouraged. Washington yeah, resident money. Edwin Amaker sees a sunny future because of the 16 brand new panels on his roof. Well, I was told that I would say between 30, 30 and 40 percent, which is major, you know, when you, when you start talking about the, the price of energy nowadays. So I like that. Uh, the less money on my pocket, the more money I have for the family. Washington authorities plan to launch a program next year to help small and medium-sized businesses install solar panels on their buildings, and after that, municipal and federal buildings, transforming the nation's capital into an environmentally clean solar city. For reporter Roman Mamanov, I'm Joy Wagner, VOA News, Washington.